Okay, in this video I want to cover adjusting the motor current controls. Uh, just a quick review of the setup here. I have a 36 volt 10 amp linear power supply. Hobby CNC 4 channel board with the heat sink attached. Four 305 ounce inch NEMA 23 motors. And I have the fan connected here in the lower left. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go through all these blue potentiometers. Make sure they're all turned counterclockwise. That's no current. Stepper motors are all connected. Everything looks solid. I'm going to go ahead and power it up. Check my fan voltage. 24.4, that's great. Uh, check the input voltage. 35, excellent. Now I'm going to back my voltmeter down to the 20 volt scale with the negative lead on the TB6 negative, check the 5 volts, 5.12, a little bit high, not high enough to worry about. It. And now back down to the 2000 millivolt or the 2 volt scale and go ahead and set the motor currents. Uh, since I'm running 3 amp motors, I want to set the uh, voltage at the test points to 0.42 volts. So I'm going to put the negative of the test lead on the negative of TB6 and then uh, the positive on the each of the test points, in this case the x-axis is first. And I'm going to dial that potentiometer up until I get to 0.42 or thereabouts. If I can keep the voltmeter probes down like I'm supposed to. Good. Now move it over to the test point for the y-axis, turn it up clockwise. And then we hear the characteristic motor whine from this motor, that's the switching frequency. Perfect. Come around here to the z-axis, do the same thing. And finally, the a-axis. If you have only three axes, then of course you just skip the A axis. So here we go, all four motors are set. They're all locked. No way I'm going to turn in my hand. Everything looks good now. Uh, notice that I have J1 installed, which is uh, one to two. Micro steps, J4 is involved in all of them, which disables the 10 second low power timeout. So it's good now, and I plug in the controller, and I just use the test from my Linux CNC. I have these two wired to the X axis, these two wired to the Y axis. And that's it. These things starting to warm up. Motors are still nice and cool. Everything looks good. I'll run this through a couple of cycles, and then this board's good to go.